What's going on guys? Roadhouse Golf back here at you. We're playing at Saddlebrook today. It is a uh, pretty nice course. It's not bad. Um, cheap to play here. Pretty short. It's a par 71. So uh, let's see what happens. We're on the tee box of hole one. It is a uh, short par four, 340 yards, slight dog leg to the right. All right, just hit my drive. I am currently sitting about 150 out. Uh, good look at the green from here. A little chunky to say the least on that one. Uh, just short of the green, had the right line and everything, but yeah, chunked it a little too much so I couldn't get it up there. Hopefully I can just get this up and down for par. And that's what happens when you don't warm up before you come out. You uh, tap it, chunk it a little bit on the first couple holes. So working on it, we're close at least. Maybe I can chip this in, I don't know. We'll see. Got my sand wedge in hand and we're just off the green side here. Not really how you want to start the day off with a uh, double bogey on the first hole, but it sets the expectations low. So, promise, I've been playing better. I actually came out the other day and shot a 77, which second lowest score of the year. Pretty happy about that. Um, we're on hole two. It's a par three, 169 yards. And I'm a moron. I forgot to record that first uh, shot there off the tee box for this par three. Just so you know, though, it was a good shot, but landed just short of the green. Um, used a six iron, and it went about 160. I needed to go about 165, but we're just short of the green here. I got a free drop, actually. It's in the drop zone, so let's see if we can get the up and down again for par. Also, apologies in advance, it is a little windy out here, so if the audio sounds like crap, that's why. I promise. It's not the quality of this, it's just the uh, content. I think that's all you should care about. Anyways, we are here on hole three, par five. Very short, achievable in two if you hit a good drive. Um, typically, I like to hit my driver where it lands about 170 out, five iron in, and uh, maybe one putt for eagle. Done that twice here so far this year. First time ever getting an eagle. Improvements have been made. My second shot rolled just into the rough right there. Uh, we are 190 out, so uh, still achievable for me to get there in two, but I'm really gonna have to push it because I can't really hit my irons that long. Working on it though, they have improved a little bit and gained about five yards on them and probably 50 yards since last year, so. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Missed that birdie putt by that much. I mean, it literally rolled around the cup. Um, so now, got my first par though of the day, three over after three holes. We can improve, got a very short par three coming up about 115 yards. And 
the wind is just absolutely killing it today. It is uh, nearly impossible. Hit the ball and it just died in the air. Luckily it landed about 10 feet short or so of the pin, so got a good look at uh, birdie here. Two holes in a row now, I've missed the uh, birdie putt by an inch or less. Kind of frustrating. Uh, still three over after four holes now, so we're improving two pars in a row after starting with a double bogey and a bogey. Uh, let's see if we can turn this round around, no pun intended, and uh, get ourselves within the 30s by the end of this round. Just need to get a birdie. So now we have a par four coming up. It's kind of short, dog leg right. Can't use a driver because there is a creek at driving distance at about 240-ish. Um, so I'm going to use a five iron off the tee. Got to keep it low with this wind. Second approach shot onto the green and hopefully uh, one putt in for birdie. Tough hold of birdie though. I don't think I've ever hit a better uh, five iron shot in my life into the wind and it still went about 200 yards. Um, so pretty happy with that. Now I just got a 45 yard, 145 yard, sorry, approach shot into the green here. I'm gonna pull out the eight iron and um, hopefully we can land it on there and the wind doesn't stop it uh, halfway there because that would be disappointing to land it short. It does have a hill that rolls back down into the uh, creek. So we'll just have to see what happens here. Not gonna lie, I have no idea where that landed. The sun was too bright and I looked right up into it. Thinking it's good, felt good. Came off the middle of the club face. I'm gonna get up there and see where it's at, hopefully. All right, and as you can see, it landed off the green right there behind me. Uh, so I did not make it up. It was online though, so that's a good thing. Another par. That is three in a row. Not bad. Three over after five holes now. So uh, happy about that. Chipping game has improved a crap ton. And I mean a lot. That saved me so much and my putting's been pretty on point. So happy with that. If I could just nail down my irons now today, I think my game would be a lot better. But it is what it is. So gotta take what you got for the day and make it work. The other day, my irons were good, driver was bad, everything else was fine. Um, today's a little bit different of a story. Driver seems to be okay. Just got to dial in them irons now. I don't know what it is. Hitting them a little thin. We do have a par three coming up though. And um, it's a longer one. It's the longest one that they have here. And it plays about 160 something yards. I uh, haven't gotten up to the thing yet. There's people getting off the green now, so. We'll see how that looks. Hopefully I can land it close. This one's pretty tough. It's got two huge bunkers on each side, giant hill on the back that rolls down to the next tee box. Um, so basically you just want to try to land it somewhere on the green and try and two putt. Hopefully get your par. If you get a birdie, it's a tough hole to birdie. So I lied. It is 150 yards um, to the green, middle of the green, I should say. And I'm going to use an 8 iron because I don't want to overshoot it. The wind's going to pull it a little right, so I want to make sure I'm more accurate with it. And uh, hopefully we just place this up there nicely. I don't know. Hopefully it's not short. But I'd rather be short than long on this hole. Um, no need to overshoot it or anything like that. If you overshoot it, you're in bad shape. So I'm going to try to play it short. Just land it on the green. We are dancing, baby. That was on the uh, right side of the green. I was a little worried, went directly over the bunkers, um, but we landed on the green. Very long putt for birdie, but we're on. That's all that matters on this hole. So as you can see here, it actually landed pin high. So not bad, but it is a long putt. This is what we're looking at. All over there, all right there. It's still about 40 feet. It's gonna be a long putt.
That's a pot, baby. Let's go. Through six. Not bad. Only three over. Roadhouse, turn it up, baby. If you haven't already, and I don't know what you're doing if you haven't, but like and subscribe to the channel. Please. I would greatly appreciate that. Yeah. 500 yard par five coming up. Waiting on some people out there in the fairway at about driving distance. There is water to the right. Um, so if you slice it or anything like that, you're in danger. Tee box also right next to a wood line that runs all the way down the entire car path and fairway line so there's not a whole lot of room for error here but since it is a par five you still got to pull out the driver aim a little right and hope that it draws back in so we'll uh see what happens wishful thinking And of course I slice it. That may be in the water, not sure. And we are safe. It is literally right there. We stayed in bounds. I'm very happy about it. So now let me pull up my handy dandy app. I use Swing U on my other phone. As you can see right there, it gives you a nice GPS look. And we are still 260 something yards out. So I'm gonna pull out a five iron. I don't know why the people out there in the green right now have their cart out in the apron about 50 yards off from the green instead of just pulling it up next to the green so we're gonna wait on them see what happens they look like they're pretty new so can't give them too much crap at least they're out golfing okay we're up here about 85 yards out from the green now after my second shot so third shot on up for birdie hopefully we got wind at our back uh, pen looks like it's sitting center of the green, so I'm just going to take a nice little gap wedge up there and hopefully get the stop right next to the pin. That actually hit right next to the pin and rolled out to the back of the green a little bit, so got about a 20-foot putt for birdie here. And if you couldn't tell, we got a storm rolling in, so I'm trying to play quick. Camera fell over there, but I did two putt that for par. So three over through seven, not bad, two holes left. Um, sorry for the hair, can't control it with this wind, didn't wear a hat. All right, hole eight is a short par four, 290 yards. Big hitters can get it there, I cannot. I can get it though within about 40 yards if I use a driver, there's water on the right. And again, tree line as you can see on the left. So you can use a five iron, get it up there and easy on. Smart play, I'm not going smart today though, I'm going all out. I don't think I could have hit that any better. Right down the fairway, straight at the green. So I think we're gonna be pretty close. Literally the best drive I think I've ever hit. About 285 yards right next to the green. Ooh. First birdie of the day, baby, let's go. We're only two over going on to the ninth hole. Pretty easy hole. For some reason, it's the number one handicap. Don't know why. Uh, close to being drivable again. I mean, I crushed that drive there. I don't know how I did that. Close chip, one putt for birdie. All right, last hole of the day. Tee box right there. It is a par four, 325 yards. Um, basically dead straight. It's kind of an optical illusion. It looks further away than what it is, but normally after a drive, you know, 90 yards out, whatever. Uh, and then easy chip on from there. One putt for birdie, ideally. And look at that. We got some nature out here. Some buzzards picking at a dead carcass. Kind of gross. Not my best of drives there. A little snap hooky. It is starting to sprinkle and thunder a little bit so i'm going to try to speed through this hole get done with it and then film the rest in the car afterwards second shot is 100 yards out pretty good look at the green not too much room though to play with over here so we'll see what happens and there's a rainbow see right there rainbow oh, 
100% sure, but that may have just gone in. It was going right at it. Holy cow, it was actually short. That looked like it was going directly into it. Shocking. But got about a 20-foot putt for par or birdie there, actually. So it should be an easy par at the minimum. Back in the car, it is starting to rain. As you can see there, shot a 37 on a par 35 for nine. Not bad, two over. Very pleased with my game right now where it's been at. Uh, it's been insanely good the past couple of months. I know I haven't filmed much. Um, really just been trying to work on my game and get it better and dialed in. Probably should have filmed some of that, but uh, it was busy season on the golf course. People were rushing me. I haven't had a chance to uh, actually film like I wanted to. So pretty happy with where everything's at. Um, lowest score so far of the year was a 74 at this course uh, where I was under par on the front nine and then I can't remember what I shot on the back like a 39 or something like that but then uh, I came out the other day and I shot a uh, uh, 77 on this course which I was two over on the front and then uh, four over on the back so not bad but today with that 37 I mean I could be more thrilled about that so pretty freaking happy about it uh hope you enjoyed this if you did please like the video subscribe to the channel if you could i would greatly appreciate it i would we're at 53 subscribers right now which is pretty awesome pretty happy about that thank you for each and every single one of you and have a great rest of your day uh -huh.